Today, MediaTek held their summit and talked about all sorts of things from smart home devices to smartphones, all the stuff that their chips power. But right there in the middle of it, they talked about Chromebooks and a couple Chromebook chips, specific Chromebook chips that they're gonna be bringing to market in 2021. And for those of us that are Chromebook fans, this is some pretty important stuff. Before we get into those chips and why those things are important, we did want to make sure that you are aware that we are giving away a Lenovo Chromebook Duet that is powered by MediaTek and was provided by MediaTek in the lead up to this summit. If you wanna learn more about that and how you can get entered to win, hit the link in the description. So let's break this down into two sections. A, what was announced, and then B, why it matters. What was announced is just two new chips for MediaTek that are geared completely for Chromebooks, the MediaTek MT8192 and MT8195. Those two chips will join the existing MT8183 that is in devices like the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. And between the three of them, we'll now have kind of an entry level, low end, a little bit slower, but way more affordable chip, a medium range chip in the 8192, and then a high end chip in the 8195. So as the next, I don't know, probably 18 to 24 months roll around, we're gonna see MediaTek Chromebooks come out. So Chromebooks from all sorts of manufacturers made with MediaTek chips inside, and that's probably gonna mean you're gonna see one of these three, and you'll probably know that based on the price. Knowing this, we can kind of derive some facts. Last year's 865 that's in a ton of phones, maybe in the phone that's in your pocket right now, is using the Cortex A77 cores, the 855 that came before that, that powers phones like the Pixel 4 or the OnePlus 7T that's in my pocket was powered using the Cortex A76 and so on and so forth. We moved down the line each year getting this new large core Cortex A, again, fill in the blank with whichever number from ARM that manufacturers use. So knowing this is the case, there are a few things that MediaTek announced as they told us about these new chips and confirmed these new chips that's pretty important. Mainly that the MT8192 that we've been tracking for a while and knew it was probably gonna be an increase in performance, we just weren't sure how good it was gonna be. It's going to be built on the A76, the Cortex A76 cores. Well, if you were listening just a second ago, that means it's powered by the same stuff that powers the Snapdragon 855. And if you know anything about phone processors, that thing is no slouch. And even at this point in 2020, the Snapdragon 855 is by far, far more powerful than anything that has been ARM-based in a Chromebook up to this point. It's not even close. And then we can apply the same logic to the MT8195 that they're saying is gonna come later on sometime in 2021. It's going to be powered with Cortex A78 cores. And if we line those up, those are the same cores that come in the not even yet released Snapdragon 875 that will be the absolute flagship for upcoming phones from Samsung and everyone else, basically. So over the course of the next 12 to 24 months, we're gonna have this lineup of Chrome books that are powered by MediaTek chips that go anywhere from kind of low performance, budget friendly, power sipping devices like the Lenovo Chromebook Duet to who knows what, because honestly, we've not seen ARM processors this powerful in Chromebooks up to this date. We've been waiting. We've been waiting for Qualcomm to do it with Snapdragon chips. We've been waiting around for some other thing to break through and we've had rock chips and we've had low end MediaTek chips. And these are things that are powering phones from five and six years ago that we have in Chromebooks today, we've just not understood what it will look like to have a high-end ARM processor in a Chromebook. So that's why all this is so important. Not because we're gonna have three chips for MediaTek. I mean, that's cool. I like to see multiple ARM chips from one manufacturer. What's gonna be really awesome is the fact that we're not gonna get these small little bumps in performance that we've kind of seen with ARM chips on Chromebooks. Instead, I think we're gonna get massive leaps in performance. When the 8192 hits, it's gonna be a huge step up from what we currently have in ARM-powered Chromebooks. And then when the 8195 comes up, it's going to be a big step too. And it's gonna be really awesome to see a wide variance of form factors and price and performance in ARM-based Chromebooks. And it feels like if what MediaTek has to say about it is anything to go by, they want to be the absolute name in ARM-powered Chromebooks moving forward. And from what we can see, what they're bringing and what they're offering with these new processors, I think they have a shot. They know the Chromebook space, they've been in the Chromebook space for many years now, and I think they have a step up on anybody else that makes an ARM-powered Chromebook 
just because of all of that wisdom and understanding that they've gained over the course of those years. And now, now they finally have the firepower to go along with all that knowledge. But guys, that's been it for this one. If you like this video, go down there and hit the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.